In my years of studying at the conservatory, I was able to use different types of microphones. For capturing full frequencies, especially for instruments and choir performances, we use the condenser. If you want a mic that will capture the most natural sound, there's the ribbon microphone. And finally, the most commonly used that is excellent for vocal recordings, we have the dynamic microphone. This is the Samsung Q2U. It's a dynamic microphone that can both be plugged via USB or XLR. You can basically do everything with this microphone. And right here, you can see that it has lots of features. And what I love about it is that it has a 3.5 millimeter port so you can monitor yourself as you speak. It also includes a lot of accessories. Here we have the description you may pause to read. The first thing you'll find inside the box is the microphone itself. Holding this for the first time, I can tell you that it's very heavy. This is made out of a die-cast zinc, so that's premium build quality right there. Now at the bottom of the microphone are all the ports that you need. So we have the XLR port, the 3.5mm for your earphones, and the mini USB if you want a digital connection. Now onto the accessories, you have a windscreen, a mic clip that has, uh, I think this is a 5.8 screw, so you have to buy a 5.8 to 3.8 screw if you want to mount this or connect this on a boom arm, if I'm not mistaken. And then, of course, we have here a very, very concise owner's manual. So I will just leave through these, and if you want to pause and read some of the pages of this manual, you may do so. And by the way, here is also where you can find the specifications of the microphone. So once again, if you want to read it, you may pause the video. Now clad in bubble wrap, you have here the XLR cable. So this is a fairly long cable, good enough if you're going to use this for a mixer connected to your computer. Not so much for, for stage performances though. And here we have, of course, the mini USB to USB A connector. Again, if you want a digital connection for the microphone. Finally, you'll also find a tripod inside the box, which is a little bit flimsy, but still, it's nice that they included this one. So this is the mic test of this Samsung Q2U. As it is a handheld microphone, I am holding it right now. So if you are a vocal artist, a streamer, or someone who interviews people, you can hear the handling noise. Not so bad, right? Personally, I think it has a good handling noise. Now I'm using it via its USB cable. And the thing that you need to know is that the 3.5 millimeter port right here, it only works, you can only use that as your audio um, output if you are using this microphone via the USB cable. And the lighting here, the clipping here, you can see it's turning red if my voice is too loud, if the frequency is too loud. It only works, again, if you're using it via the USB cable. Now, the only con that I find when you use it via the USB is that the only way to tweak the levels of the mic is by going to the control panel, hard, go to hardware and sound, click on sound, and then go to the recording tab, click on the microphone, the properties will open, and then go to levels, and here is where you can tweak the volume of the microphone. For me, that's a con because it's so hard to go to keep on going to the control panel uh, just to tweak the volume of this one. But if you are a streamer and you use OBS Streamlabs, you can easily tweak the the voice. I mean, the sound of your microphone via the Streamlabs mixer. Now, let's first uh, place this here on the shock mount that I have, and I will also be. Uh, putting the windscreen that comes with it and I also bought another one a pop filter and then let's use it via the XLR cable give me a sec
Okay, now I'm using this via the XLR cable and it really sounds clean as well. There's not much of a difference, but of course, since it's on an XLR uh, cable, of course, I'm using a mixer so I can tweak my voice here. This is the the plus of having a mixer and using it by an, via an XLR cable so you can tweak the base of your microphone. Now, I w if I want my voice to be boomier, if there's a term like that, then I can tweak it via the mixer. If I want it to have more trebles than the bass, then I can also do that. Now I'm going to place the windscreen. In my opinion, the windscreen really does a good job. So the plosive sounds coming from your voice will be filtered. So if you say pa, ta, s, it won't be it won't come off as annoying to the other end okay and i also bought this uh, pop filter and to me it it really made the it made my voice clearer and cleaner when i when i used these uh, accessories for the microphone now other tests that we will do here is first i'm going to count to 10 go to my guitar by the wall get it and then you can of course while i'm counting you can hear how much of my voice it will pick up if i move away from the microphone so here i go one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so that's how it sounds like if you move away from your microphone now i'm going to play my guitar and made me sing something. What am I gonna sing? Okay, my own song again. Papansindin mo ba? O bibitawan ang lahat ng pinagdaanan nating dalawa. Now it can pick up some of the sound of the guitar because it's on the maximum gain on the mixer. Now, what I'm going to do is to place the microphone straight directly onto the sound wall of my guitar so you can hear out how it sounds like with an instrument. So that's how it sounds like with an instrument. Now the last test that I'm going to do with this one is the type test. So I'm going to type on my mechanical keyboard. Let's go to monkey type. And I have a mechanical keyboard with brown switches, so it's not supposed to be that loud. And since the gain on my microphone is a little bit high, it might be able to pick up some of the noise coming from the keyboard, but it's not to an annoying extent. So how much is this microphone? It's kind of pricey. You really have to shell out some money if you want a good quality microphone that you can use via USB or through an XLR cable. I bought this at Lazada at 4,000 flat before. I think during one of their sales. Right now, it's on. It's gonna be on sale, but it's at the time that I'm shooting this but it's going to just be around 4450 kind of pricey but if you ask me if you're gonna use this for especially if you're a musician or a podcaster if you're gonna use that this one for work it's definitely definitely worth the money that's it for this dynamic microphone by samsung remember i'm here to just help you out with your purchase decision in the end it's always your choice your call see you in the next video